I went to Purdue University, graduated in 2009 with a BS in Nutrition, Fitness and Health. Most of what I feel like has had an impact on my career specifically is trial and error. It's important to adjust your nutrition plan when it comes to training and competition because you're asking different things of your body, especially in my sport. Training is volume and building strength and making sure your body is prepared for really quick, explosive, violent movements. So you're putting in a lot of work that takes a lot of energy and a lot of calories to do in training, but when it comes to competition, the output isn't the same. You're doing a very specific thing for a very short amount of time, so I don't need to eat the same way to prepare for competition as I do for getting through a long training session. Going into Olympic trials in 2012, I had been very lean for about two seasons at that point. Uh, for, for who I am as an athlete and for how far I've thrown, I know that I throw better when I'm a little bit heavier, but at that point, I was young enough and inexperienced enough to think, Leaner is better, leaner is faster, smaller is still strong, but for me that's not true. So when I got to Olympic trials, I had been working at this deficit for a long time. And I loved pictures of myself throwing javelin, but I ultimately tore my ACL. And it wasn't necessarily because I was lean, but because I had been asking a lot of my body and not giving it enough for a long time. Since I recovered from that injury, it's all about feeling good, feeling powerful, feeling strong. I like dessert, but I don't eat dessert all the time. I am not shy about eating it when I want it, and I think that's what keeps my cravings at bay. I'm in a sport that that's okay, and I'm, I'm an athlete that I know that that's okay. If I have a little bit of extra uh, on me for one practice a week, that's 100% fine, and maybe even keeps me healthier. I think fat stores for me are pretty important, uh, to a degree. So, cupcake last night doesn't make me feel bad tomorrow. If you're talking about holidays, my favorite holiday eating tip is to get up early and exercise before everyone is awake. I find it really difficult if I like sleep in. I know you're having fun the night before with your family and it's hard to wake up, but it's better to get that intense session done early and then you're not only spending time with your loved ones, but you can also indulge a little bit more than if you didn't get the job done. In my family, my husband actually started this tradition with my parents in 2011. Every year we go crabbing on Thanksgiving. So we go out and we catch all these crabs, uh, fresh Dungeness crabs. It's right before the commercial season starts in the Pacific Northwest. And we just gorge ourselves that day. Eat over a wheelbarrow, throw the, sh the shells into the wheelbarrow during the day, and then at night Russ makes crab cakes. It doesn't have to be extravagant every meal either. Like that's kind of my thing is, I think people get really caught up in it's this whole week with family and it all needs to be special, but like it's special because you're together.